you might be thinking, no entry, I would not welcome. That's your further from the truth. The problem is, of course, with this COVID-19, the pandemic, this global, we now have to change how we operate. I just thought I'd show you some of the ideas that we have currently. We're coming back down in three weeks' time to change some of the seating um, so that we can physically distance because we're not going to be socially isolating. We're going to make sure that we're together. We're together safely. So come with me as I take you through the journey of the vestibule of the church. You can see we've got... This is perhaps when we start to see things that we probably didn't notice and we think, my goodness, why is that sitting there making it look untidy? But it does have a purpose. And of course, we come to the first doorway, which will be ajar, so you don't have to touch the handle. And then we come here. Now you may see the handles in the cleaning station. We're hoping to actually have some sort of dispenser pump. Very difficult to get within a, a reasonable price. So if anybody's got anything that can fit on to the top of that, let me pump out. Um, we have the hand sanitizer and we have disinfectant should you touch a surface. And of course you come along here and you see these arrows. <clears throat> we are teaching granny to suck eggs unfortunately. We're asking you to go one way within the sanctuary. One way to your seat, one way around the building, and here we come again. Now you may notice there's a white line. That white line gives me the distance between the, and up here as well. You'll see there's some items up here just now which wouldn't normally be here. Plus our chancel, or corridor as some people like to call it, or even altar, has slightly changed. The communion table is pushed back because, unfortunately, we won't be doing communion at this present moment in time, but we'll get there eventually. And then we, we come around, and this white line allows the praise band. You can see it, yes. Apparently, we're not allowed to sing because it requires five metres for distance. So we have measured it out, and we know that we can let people sing in the praise band and lead worship. Unfortunately, it means that our, the dulcet tones of our congregation can't be heard. But we do have plans for that as well. So we walk out of here and past the lovely Last Supper embroidery. And we come back up to where we almost came in. Yes, that's right. It's a one-way system around a church building and you'll see on your way out there is another opportunity for you to sanitize your hands again it will be set up much more properly and thoroughly we're at the beginning stages now obviously you can see this beautiful sanctuary that i'm in and we are very very fortunate in that we do have an absolutely stunningly beautiful sanctuary here at Knightswood Congregational Church. I'd like to think that within the Congregational Federation in Scotland, we may have the jewel in the crown, but of course, I am biased. Now, as you can see, we have five seats on this side and five seats on that side. But between each of the pillars is about seven and a half metres. And we've worked out to do social distancing at two metres we can only put three of those seats in to accommodate one row. That means we'll lose seven seats. So we're going to hold off for another three weeks until the First Minister decides to update us and to see if that rule changes from, three me or from two metres. Even if it goes down to one and a half metres, um, we could then get four seats in per row. We will, of course, try and incorporate families and couples, but it's, it's not easy and there will be headaches and we'll have to ask for total compliance, even if we don't like it, in order for us to be safe. So when we, this central aisle, as we know it, will disappear, but it's perhaps good for you just to have a look at your church online and believe me, it will get back to normal at some point. Just not for a wee while yet. But if we have patience and we persevere and we cooperate and we do what people ask of you, hey, you know what? It will not belong 
till we look at it like this again and we're back together as a proper worshipping gathered community. So I hope you dislike that wee short tour of your sanctuary to see what things are happening, to know that we are planning on returning when we still do not know. Remember that people are shielding until the 31st of July and we're not going to exclude anyone. So let's be safe. Stay at home unless you have to go out. Do go out for your exercise. That's so important. But stay safe and we'll see you back here in due course. Bye for now.